A few days ago, I was scrolling Netflix and came upon a new show that I hadn't seen before called Blue Eye Samurai. Now, we all know that when you scroll Netflix, it kind of plays the trailer for you automatically. As I started to watch this trailer for Blue Eye Samurai, I was immediately captivated, and then I binged the entire show, and let me tell you, Blue Eye Samurai is a masterpiece. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel Dr. Applesauce. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. So I was definitely surprised when I stumbled upon Blue Eye Samurai on Netflix. I had not heard about this. I had no clue that this even existed. And I see this and I'm thinking, wow, a really cool, interesting new samurai style anime that looks really beautiful and looks like it has some amazing action and some really cool story writing. And boy, is that an understatement as to what type of journey I I was about to embark on when I started watching Blue Eye Samurai. Now, Blue Eye Samurai is an adult animation show that is on Netflix and it runs for eight episodes and it actually feels really, really long because the first episode is a full hour and every subsequent episode is anywhere around 40 to 50 minutes. So we're getting about a full seven hours worth of content here. I say anime loosely because technically this is an adult animation. It's not technically anime. It is a really gorgeous blend of 2D and 3D animation that translates so fantastic into the fight scenes that are incredibly gory, but incredibly beautiful and phenomenally well done and choreographed. It's such a nice animation style that there's even points where I was watching it and I felt like I was watching live action. And then there was other points when I was watching it and I felt like I was just watching a classically animated, beautiful anime. And again, I say anime loosely because technically this is an adult animation and it's done by Blue Spirit Studios. So if you see some of the animation, it looks familiar. Blue Spirit actually did the What If, the Marvel What If series, but with Blue Eye Samurai, it seems like they've gotten even better. And this is a beautiful and crazy story that actually takes place in the late 1600s and seclusionist era Edo Japan. Now, if you don't know what that is, the seclusionist era Edo Japan was when Japan basically secured and closed their borders. Nobody was allowed in, nobody was allowed out whatsoever. And there was only four white men in the country at that time that our main character was born. So our main character is Mizu and she was born from a white man in seclusionist era Edo Japan and a Japanese woman, which there was supposed to be no white men in the country at that time at all, except for illegal trade. You would find white men in illegal trade. And so there was only a few white men in the country when she was specifically born. And white men were such a taboo in Japan at that time that people thought of them as devils. And you could tell when somebody was half white, half Japanese, because they would have fairer skin and often blue eyes. And our main character, Mizu, has blue eyes. So we go throughout this story and she's trying to hide two huge, huge things about herself. One, she tries to hide the fact that she has blue eyes, which is really hard to do. Two, she tries to hide the fact that she is a woman and she poses as a male samurai throughout the entire series because being a man, she has access to a lot more things than she would have as a woman. And so we see Mizu go through this crazy and incredible revenge storyline to go through and find the four white men that were in Japan when she was born and kill them all because one of them gave birth to her and led her down this journey and caused her to come into this world where people thought she was a demon, where people thought she was a monster, where she was abused, where she had just these horribly unfortunate things that happened all as a product of the time that she was born in. And so she goes through this revenge series and you see back and forth flashes from the, the past to present time where you see that Mizu actually becomes a master sword maker. She trains for many, many years and becomes a master of multiple forms of martial arts and combat and then embarks on her journey, posing as a male samurai to gain revenge by killing these four white men. And this is such a huge embarkation of a massive journey that the entire season that we get in season one is just her hunting down one of the four white men. And let me tell you, this show is not for kids. We see some of the goriest and craziest battle scenes. There's a lot of adult themes in this show while not being gratuitous and, and crude and over the top. This is definitely an adult animation. And as Mizu embarks on her journey of revenge, we see these crazy highs and lows of her being obsessed with 
seeking revenge on these four men to the detriment of many other things. And as she goes on her journey, we get introduced to several other characters that she gets really close to, Ringo, Tengen, and Akemi. And all of these characters try and convince her to give up this path and this journey of revenge and seek a different life and seek a normal life and seek a regular life and seek a life of peace or whatever the case may be and she's so obsessed with revenge that she can't do it so you get this really interesting dichotomy of of peace and violence uh, of revenge and maybe having a peaceful life and it's it's exampled many many ways you see times where mizu thinks maybe she should give up and just go for peace but she's obsessed with this overwhelming drive for revenge on these four white men that's all she's ever wanted she doesn't really know what else to pursue and then we see the juxtaposition of that in characters like Ringo who is disabled and pure of heart and very peaceful and provides some comedic relief at some points of the show and it's just this beautiful dichotomy of gentleness and ferocity of love and hatred of revenge and forgiveness and the show in and of itself is an absolute masterpiece it shows some really interesting themes of essentially racism at the time and how people are prejudged without any care or consideration given to their character mizu was raised in a world where just because she was half white in an area where japan had made it illegal for any white people to be there she was considered a devil she was considered less than she was considered a danger to society so she grows up having to hide everything about who she is she has to physically hide her eyes with sunglasses she poses as a man so that she can have better access on her journey of revenge and it's a really beautiful story and it's a really sad and tragic story but at that all of that being said blue eye samurai is a masterpiece of action and artistic design and style like i said it the animation is a blend of 2d and 3d animation and while it's not technically anime any anime fan that likes action is gonna love Blue Eye Samurai. Anybody that maybe doesn't really like anime, but likes action or likes this type of Japanese style storytelling is gonna enjoy Blue Eye Samurai. It very much deserves, I believe it has like a nine out of 10 rating on many other, on many review websites because it's packed full of beautiful storytelling amazing battle scenes that just as somebody that watches anime and loves some of the crazy battle scenes in anime i was left speechless by some of the battles in blue eye samurai but it doesn't stop there there's amazing storytelling there's wonderful depth and emotion into the character building you start to really feel for these characters after watching seven plus hours of season one you care about these characters you understand their motivations you understand their desires you want them to win or you want them to fail when it comes to some of the more evil characters in the show but you connect with the characters so having a connection to characters character development and wonderful storytelling and nice juxtapositions of different contrasting themes makes this show a masterpiece this show is a revelation and i had no idea it existed until i ran across the trailer on netflix blue eye samurai is in my opinion a 10 out of 10 it's rated as a 9 out of 10 on many other platforms and it's definitely not for children there are definitely themes in there that are only for adults but they're used artfully and masterfully to paint the picture of this brutal dog eat dog only the strong survive world in which mizu is navigating and going through this incredibly drastic and emotional journey of revenge i absolutely recommend the show you should 100 go check it out it is on netflix it's an emotional roller coaster and when the show was over i left feeling satisfied but wanting more i was happy with where it went but i wanted to see where else it could go if there's no more seasons to blue eye samurai they ended it on a good note but they left it open for there to be potential so if there's no more i'm satisfied it was good but i want more i want to see where they can take this i want to see what else they can do because this show is an absolute masterpiece. Have you checked out Blue Eye Samurai? Let me know down in the comments below if you've watched it. If not, head over to Netflix and watch the first episode. You will absolutely love it. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, my friends. Give it a thumbs up. It's actually free for you to do that. and helps the channel so much. If you enjoyed this one, you might like that one. And like I always say, my friends, find somebody to love and serve today. Be the change you want to see in the world. See you next time.